Jace Tunnel here. Check out what we got today. A banded sea star. And it's huge. I don't see these this often. And so uh, when I was walking up today, we just had uh, the tides went way out and there was a lot of stuff exposed. So I came down here and there's actually a couple of these on the beach right now. But the banded sea star is uh, not as common as maybe the Gracie star. Uh, you're probably used to seeing the Gracie star. It's a small one. Uh, it's got five arms. It's uh, typically um, grayish, uh, tannish looking color. Whereas the banded sea star also has five arms, but it's much larger. And um, uh, a couple of interesting things about this, uh, you can find it uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. You can find it you know, along the East Coast, all the way down uh, into South America. Um, but if you look at the bottom of it, you can see all the arms that are on it. And this one, I'm not sure if it's alive. Um, it looks like it might've washed up last night sometime. Although when I'm done with this video, I'm gonna go put it back into the ocean and uh you know there's a possibility it could be alive so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to see if uh it can survive but the mouth of it is right here and it eats its prey whole and so uh, other sea stars uh clams you know mollusk uh, that's what it feeds on it will consume that whole and then the parts of it that it, it can't eat it just spits back out and but that's its mouth right there in the middle another interesting fact about these are that if they lose one of their arms they can actually regenerate it so they can create they can you know ha have another arm not like us we lose our arm it's gone these they lose an arm and you know you might be thinking well why would they lose an arm well think about something that eats on them um, uh, big stingrays or a big fish comes up and just grabs one of the arms they can actually detach it so that uh, the fish you know takes off with their arm and it, but they get to survive so they can actually uh, grow that back you know it might take a couple of months but you know that's a pretty cool trick they got some other interesting things is they move very slow they live in sandy muddy bottoms and so that's why we're seeing them uh, wash up right now is because this tide goes out and that's where they're living and so it kind of exposes them um, people uh, don't eat these so don't be trying to don't be trying to go uh, eat them uh, in the middle it has all these arms and that's how it's able to crawl across uh, the ocean floor uh, and then it's got a lot of uh, additional spines and stuff on here so uh, just a real cool animal uh, thought you'd be interested in seeing this uh, put if you've seen these before and you like them, put it in the comments. And uh, I guess we'll talk to you next time. Bye.